Hello, my name is Sylvie Pila, and I'm looking at the fascinating world of laser technology today. To be more precise, it is laser engraving. This creates products which you have in your hands on a daily basis and handle as a matter of course. You can process all kinds of materials with this technique. But what actually happens during the process of laser engraving? You can find laser engraving on countless items that surround us every day. But laser engraving is not automatically the technique involved. There are various processes that are appropriate for use on a wide range of materials. At ACI Laser in the small Thuringian town of Nora, the company is more than happy to let me look at the fascinating technology. Managing Director Merko Wunderlich heads the company where laser machines have been developed and made since 1999. But before we take a look at this kind of machine, we have to put on a pair of laser goggles. Laser radiation is dangerous. Depending on the type and power level, a laser beam can cause serious injuries. Machines that generate laser beams are normally high-tech units with complex inner workings. It takes years of development before a laser can be launched in the marketplace and meet all the necessary criteria. In the broadest sense, a laser beam is a beam of light. But what is the difference between a laser and a normal beam of light? I remember lasers from Star Wars, from the Star Wars films when I was a child. But what is a laser really? How does it work? The term laser is no more than a description of coherent light with the same wavelength. In our special case here, we work with a wavelength of 1064 nanometers. This is concentrated into a small focal spot on the material through a focusing lens, so that we create a very high power density on the material and can then process it. Energy in the form of light or high frequency stimulates a laser active medium. This medium, which also provides the name for the type of laser, emits the energy in the form of laser radiation. Depending on which medium is used, the wavelengths will be different and this has a decisive effect on the work that the laser can do. In ACI machines, crystals, glass fiber and CO2 gas mixtures are the laser active media used. The laser radiation generated by the relevant medium is guided via two deflection mirrors through a focusing lens precisely onto the material being marked. You can now process a wide range of materials with one laser. Does that all happen with one machine or do you need various devices? Depending on the customer's application, there are of course different laser systems that we manufacture and make available. One criterion, for example, is the wavelength of the laser system in order to achieve some absorption in the material. The goal is always to add a high contrast permanent marking to the material in the appropriate manner. The laser system should be individually adjusted to the relevant requirements. The range of materials that can be processed with a laser is huge. But it is not only the material that determines which system is used, the quantities needing to be processed are also an important factor. Suppliers like ACI also have workstations in addition to the relevant laser machines. Complex marking processes are only possible through the interaction of laser, software and handling devices. There are hardly any limits on using lasers, whether you have wood or metal, ceramics or glass. All the materials can be processed. I'd like to see now how this works out in practice. I'm visiting ACI Laser GmbH in Chemnitz. Here's Mr. Dorsch. Hello, Mr. Dorsch. I have two different materials here, wood and metal. We want to make them both more attractive. Which one shall we process first? I suggest we start with the wood. We've set up two laser systems here, a CO2 laser for organic materials like wood and a neodymium YAG laser for metal. It is always crucial that the wavelength of the laser radiation suits the material. 
The laser technology may appear to be complex, but it is very easy to use in practice. Once it has been set up and focused, it is only necessary to enter a few parameters on the PC and the laser then starts to work. Precisely and accurately. There seem to be hardly any restrictions on using lasers to mark and shape products. Well, it worked. I've seen how quickly and precisely you can mark metal and wood. Of course, that is only a small example of the enormous range of applications where it is possible to use lasers today. Industry can no longer cope without modern laser systems. Perhaps I've been able to give you a few ideas so that you can work with laser technology in the future too. But for the moment, thank you for watching and I wish you success with your ongoing projects.